Bokatov covering. I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Tensions continue to mount in Jerusalem after last week's attack that killed two Israeli uh, border guards there in Jerusalem guarding uh, near the gates of the Temple Mount, actually at the Temple Mount there. Uh, the article here that came out last week uh, on the Times of Israel walk protest has completely taken control of the Temple Mount. And then later the Israeli authorities took over from the walk guards uh, the complete control of the Temple Mount, putting in uh, metal detectors, and this is what has really sparked a lot of protests. Protests that, quite frankly, are completely unjustified. Uh, if we're going to have safety on the Temple Mount, there must be consideration that is given to both uh, the, the, uh, the, not only the Arabs, but also to both Jews and Christians alike that do have to go through metal detectors. They're not allowed on the Temple Mount without going through a very tight, stringent security measures. Uh, and according to some of the latest videos that have come out, uh, we're seeing uh, exactly the need for that. Uh, one go to this video here in particular. This video here is a new video that just came out recently. Uh, this is uh, being shared with us by Josh Marks uh, on Twitter there. This is showing the, the full uh, details of how uh, the weapons were smuggled into the Temple Mount there, taken into the Al-Aqsa Mosque, later brought out, and then of course uh, near the end of the video we see they slip up behind the uh, Israeli police there, shooting them in the back, very cowardly uh, in fact at that, not even willing to face them, but just shooting them in cold blood in the back, uh, killing them, two of the officers there. But the the, the in, intense uh, efforts that were put forth uh, the extremes that they went to to smuggle these weapons in just goes to show the need for this type of security. Uh, and as you can see, when we get to the end of the video right here, this is where they show there, the first shooter comes out, begins to shoot. The second one comes out, begins to shoot. They shoot the officer in his back. Uh, and of course, they go after the other officer as well. So something has got to change. It's very serious. The riots are continuing, continuing in Jerusalem. Uh, just the other day, we had uh, uh, 11 terror suspects arrested, 14 wounded, two police officers were wounded. Uh, and then, of course, we have this particular video footage that just came out as well. More riots in the city of Jerusalem around the Temple Mount area there. Uh, this morning, uh, Rabbi Yehuda Glick, MK member, also Yehuda Glick there, uh, sending out uh, a plea for, for, for prayer and peace there in Jerusalem. No doubt a very tense situation going on in Jerusalem today. Do, do, do be praying for the peace and safety of Jerusalem in such a trying time. Uh, in other news there, I want to also bring up uh, U.S. global strike concept is a direct military threat, Russia's new naval doctrine. Just when we thought things could possibly be going better with President Trump uh, supposedly putting this freeze on the, um, the Free Syrian Army inside of Syria, which we later discovered from Brett Bart News there, it's not really a freeze because of uh, not willing to arm the Free Syrian Army there, but rather because of the weapons falling into the hand of jihadists, which as we reported, we believe is actually uh, coming under the control uh, uh, in Afghanistan and could have been the result of the deaths of the soldiers there, maybe why uh, the U.S. has done that. Uh, but anyway, uh, Russia goes on into this article here on RT News and is talking about the steps that they're going to have to take as NATO, uh, led by the United States, is trying to dominate the global seas. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom and have a good day. See you next week in the United States.